My journey began four years ago when I was asked to be on the building committee representing early childhood education. Now, I've always prided myself in being uh, the best teacher that I could be given the limited amount of space that we had. So when I was asked to think of a vision of a 21st century school classroom, I could think of two things, storage, storage, probably more storage, and a large enough classroom to accommodate my, the desks and a teacher rug, you know, where the kids could come around and we could have a read aloud area. Well, and that's the only thing I could really think of. Well, later, as these meetings progressed over the next year, did I see that, boy, was my vision ever so small. As the architects began sharing other 21st century schools, my wish list really began to grow. First, extended learning centers. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. No longer would my students have to go to the hallway to be tutored, which Mr. Bukai had already said that you know, that's where they would go. And most of you who are educators in here know the kids are out there to be tutored are the ones that are so distracted anyway. So here we send them out into the hallway where it's noisy and, and it wasn't very conducive for learning, that's for sure. Lockers. Oh my gosh, was that a gift? In the hallway, out of my room. The old building was never built to have these kids today. They, they don't even bring backpacks anymore. It's like they bring their luggage to school. So we had all that, and then you know their coats, their boots. And at the end, of the end of the day, during dismissal, it was almost like an accident waiting to happen, everybody tripping over everything. So lockers in the hallway. Um, number three, pods. That was, you know, as we went through these meetings, we saw the pods where accommodations for large presentations could be accomplished. Then, not to even mention the state of uh, the art, state of the art stage with a microphone system. And by the way, I've been doing a, a Thanksgiving play with my first graders for a very, very long time. And I think for the very first time, the audience could actually hear what they were saying because we had the microphone system. And did I mention the fact that all of our restrooms with automatic waters, then they had the, you know, where you just, you didn't have to touch the um, paper towel holders and the flushers. They didn't have to touch anything, nothing. So I was really excited when I saw all that. And of course, like I said, my wish list certainly began to grow. But you know what? I'm very happy to say those visions are no longer visions, but a reality. And all of the above and more are, and I say this, I've been practicing this speech, and I told them I'll start, I cry every time I start to read this, and I say this with much pride, are a part of my school, Highland Elementary. And I have the privilege every day to come to school where the warm summer colors are aesthetically pleasing from the outside of the building all the way to my classroom. Now, one aspect of our 21st century schools that I haven't shared is the technology because I feel like I'm an old dog in a, in a new world of kind of uncharted territory and technology really scares me. And all of a sudden I started hearing all these things that went with this new building like smart boards and document cameras, iPads, and I still really don't know what that is, but iPads with apps. And I'm going, oh my God, I think I, I thought I was gonna retire early. I didn't think I could do it. But I started simple with our enhanced sound amplification system, which is nothing more than just, you know, a microphone system, which, by the way, the research has shown that 7 to 12 percent increase in learning when used in the classroom, and I truly believe it. I can't believe, you put a microphone in the hand of a first grader, it boosts their, their self-esteem, and I'm all microphoned in. This, I think, for the first time in 20 years, I haven't come home hoarse or laryngitis. I mean, it's wonderful. So that's been, so I started with that with a little bit of technology and I love it and the kids love it too. Now the smart boards, well, they're truly amazing. We had a, last year, we had an opportunity for a grant and I, I didn't want any part of a smart board. I thought, you know, this is my 20th year, I'm retiring in about four years and I, I just don't think I can do it. And I really didn't know what it was. So we had an after school meeting. Mr. Bukite had one of our colleagues do a presentation. She's a first grade teacher on a smart board. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what she was doing and how it could enhance these kids' learning and the interactiveness of it. So another grant went out this year. I applied for it and I'm happy to say that I got it. So this summer I'll be getting a smart board and, and trying to get on board with that. So 
You know, I truly believe our buildings have taken us as educators to the next level, and I really, truly think our kids are going to reap the rewards for it. So, thank you. Hopefully, you have been inspired by our story. In closing, let me share what I think you can expect new facilities to mean to your community. We've talked a lot about community and schools being the hub of the community. And so, for those who don't have school-aged children and would say, education is important to me, it truly is. For us, it meant increased student, staff, and community pride. It meant state-of-the-art meeting space to host important community events and meetings. It meant more equal and truly inspiring educational opportunities and increased economic development. Last but certainly not least, it meant for us increased enrollment. They will come. They, meaning students, families, and businesses. How do I know that? As I said, we're an urban district that is defying urban enrollment trends. While similar urban districts, and you heard that earlier today, are literally losing thousands of families, our enrollment is actually on the rise. We attribute this in part, of course, to our beautiful new facilities. But more importantly, I attribute it to the dedication, commitment, pride, and creativity our staff has in these new facilities and the belief that they truly can deliver an outstanding 21st century education. We love to have visitors, so please feel free to visit. Um, we'll take you on a tour where you can feel free to shamelessly borrow any design or educational idea that works for you. Um, but please be advised if you come, we'd love to have you, but I have to caution you, you'll probably hear a little bit of bragging about how great we believe our facilities are. We started out on this journey almost a decade ago, and it certainly has surpassed our wildest expectations. Thank you for letting us share our story.